Now there are tons of great videos that can help you get more views on YouTube, but a lot of these videos talk about things that are vague and sometimes hard to implement, like make good thumbnails or add value to your audience or edit better videos. Now sure, these things are super important, but sometimes they're hard to implement immediately. So in this video, I'm gonna reveal three actionable tips that you can use to get an insane amount of views in just five minutes. How insane? Well, here's a funny Battlefield video that didn't use these tips. It pales in comparison to this funny Battlefield video posted on the exact same channel that got 311,000 views in the first 90 days of it being posted. And this is probably already obvious from the last example I just showed you, but basically none of the views came from this channel's subscriber count. It was basically all brand new traffic. So this channel could have had zero subscribers and this video still would have got hundreds of thousands of views. And what's cool is when you use the tips I'm about to show you that we used on this exact video, not only does it result in views for this video itself, but many of those viewers often filter down and get recommended your old videos so it lifts up and carries your whole channel. And the cool thing is, it's pretty simple to use these tips we're about to get into to get these kinds of views, no matter how big your channel is or what kind of niche you're in. So let me show you exactly how I made it happen. This particular channel we're talking about specialized in creating funny moments videos for a variety of different games. But as you can see, the funny moments videos I posted for Battlefield sucked harder than Dyson 5000. But I was sure people in the Battlefield community would be interested in the type of videos I was creating, they just hadn't been exposed to them yet. And so for this video, the one that ended up blowing up, I decided to do something a little bit differently. Here's a clue. Check out some of the comments I got from this video that blew up. Actually better than the real trailer. Wait, so the trailer itself wasn't a parody? If the real trailer was like this, then everyone would love it way more. The moment you realize this is better than the actual trailer. Good job, lol. Can you guess what this video is about? The main reason this funny Battlefield video blew up over this funny Battlefield video is the video idea itself. See, these two Battlefield videos are very, very similar. The edits are very similar. The style is very similar. Similar, the pacing is very similar, but this one clearly worked way better. And I think the main reason for that is that this video idea was positioned as a Battlefield 5 trailer parody, as opposed to this video, which was just positioned as a Battlefield 5 funny moments video. So when Battlefield 5 released, it was extremely controversial. The game trailer itself is probably one of the most, if not the most disliked game trailer in history. And so even though the video content itself is very, very similar, the idea of a Battlefield 5 trailer parody was clearly of much more interest to people than a Battlefield 5 funny moments video. So I'm gonna show you how to find amazing video ideas because video ideas are debatably the most underutilized and important step in the process of getting views in my opinion. And what I mean by that is I'd say an amazing video idea can still get a lot of views even if it has an average title and thumbnail, but you can have an amazing title and thumbnail and an average video idea and the video is not going to do well. In other words, without a great video idea, everything else tends to fall in a heap. So I'm gonna show you you how to find amazing video ideas in as little as five minutes so you can get a ton more views on your videos. See, one of the top places to get ideas for videos is by listening to the people who actually watch your videos, your audience. Now you might be thinking, but Marcus, I'm a small YouTuber. I don't get many people requesting specific video ideas. And when I do, they're from Uncle Joe and Uncle Joe's ideas suck. And that's true, but here's the paradigm shift. You don't need to get your ideas from people commenting on your videos. You can go and get ideas from people commenting on other YouTubers' videos videos, so long as those YouTubers are very similar to you. So for example, I just click on a random video here, and if we were to scroll through these comments for a couple of minutes, what we're trying to look for are people hinting at or directly suggesting video ideas intended for the creator of this video, but that you can pinch and do for your own channel. So here's a good example here. This comment says, I'd love to see them try for other endings. And what's more important is this comment actually has some traction. It's had eight people like it already, which means that there are other people who would also like to see this type of video as well. And the trick with this is to find comments for video ideas that have a lot of attention showing that a lot of people would be interested in that type of content. So based on this comment, you could create a video all about playing through every single ending in the Mortuary Assistant. I can't pronounce that for some reason. I think I, think I got it right. Mortuary? Mortuary. Mort. <laughs> I give up. And so if you spend sometimes as little as five minutes just trawling through the comments of multiple top videos within your niche, you can often come up with a ton of awesome video ideas that have actually been specifically requested by the community. And you can also see through how many likes they've gotten, how many other people would actually be interested in this type of idea. And when you're doing this, use likes as an indicator of popularity rather than the exact number of people who might be interested in this type of video. For example, sure, this comment might only have eight likes, but statistically speaking, 
speaking, these eight people might represent the desires of a whole lot more. And the more likes a comment has, the more statistically significant your data actually is, and the more likely it is to be a good video idea. So does this actually work? Well, I mean, see for yourself. But now you might be asking, well, Marcus, did you see a bunch of people requesting a Battlefield 5 trailer parody video on the Battlefield 5 trailer? See, here's where this gets really interesting because the answer is no. I didn't see anyone specifically requesting a Battlefield 5 trailer parody in the comments of the original Battlefield 5 trailer. But check out these comments. This makes Wolfenstein look historically accurate. The most realistic part of this is the medic not helping the dying guy. When the game about the past is less accurate than the one about the future. I'm still surprised that there were no aliens or wizards in this game. So when I was reading through these comments before creating my parody video, I was like, huh, most people think this trailer is a complete joke. What if I made a version of it that was literally a complete joke using the techniques and styles that I've used for all of my other videos? And the rest is history. And you can use these tips with almost any type of content. In this case, we took a funny clip compilation channel and came up with the idea of a funny trailer parody. Let's say you're a tutorial channel and you're making a video titled how to get more kills in Battlefield. Well, maybe we do our research and we see a lot of comments about people trying to get to the top of the leaderboard. So we can then take that information and create an idea like the top seven tips to get top of the leaderboard every time in Battlefield. Or let's say instead you're creating Battlefield multiplayer let's play videos. But because there's 50,000 let's play videos on the internet, they're not getting any attention. Well, maybe you do your research through the comment section of other videos and you see a lot of people complaining about a particular weapon in the game. And so your new video idea goes from Battlefield multiplayer let's play episode seven to trying to get top of the leaderboard while only using insert name of the worst weapon in the game here. Now I just came up with these examples on the spot, but you get the idea. If you think more high level, you do the research and you come up with more interesting video ideas, they're gonna lend themselves to more interesting titles, more interesting thumbnails, more people will click, more people will watch, and you can go from creating videos like this to videos like this. But what about the videos you've already posted? Obviously you can update the titles and thumbnails of those, but you're still pretty restricted because you can't actually change the content itself. Well, yes, but also no. You need to watch this video on screen because it's gonna show you how to get more views on videos that you've already posted in just two minutes. I know it sounds crazy, but I've got the proof. Click the video and I'll see you there.